What's up, everybody? For the win, Itachi here. You know what it is. We are getting into it. We are going to be doing a live reaction on the Pokemon Go trailer. And this is a game that has been going to be released in 2016 for your Android and Apple product users. So, let's get to it right away. Alright. Oh, the Pokemon Company Man and Egg Globe in the background. Nintendo. Niantic is the actual game makers. Alright, so I'm going to pause it right there. As you can see already, you're going to be playing on your cell phone. And you're going to be traveling throughout the world. As you can see, this is one of the trainers who has the game, of course. On his cell phone, he's going to be able to see the actual distance of a wild Pokemon from him. As you can see on the left-hand side, it says wild Pokemon 226 meters away. Location gives the exact location of where that Pokemon is and will be found. And it pretty much is all of this information that you're going to see on the screen on the side, you're going to be able to see on your cell phone. So these are trainers just basically looking for Pokemon, which is really cool. Oh, Pikachu! Oh my gosh, Caterpie! Charizard, oh, looking boss as. Alright, so I'm going to pause it there really quick. As you can see, it also has an inventory selection screen. Um, it is kind of vaded out on the background. What we're seeing is what he's looking at on his cell phone. It gives him an items. It gives them a honey, so I'm assuming you're going to be getting honey in order to attract specific Pokemon. So if you use honey, you're going to attract something really close by to you. Of course, you get the Pokeballs, that's what's going to help you catch them. Again, in another video, I posted how much, um, uh, I mean not how much, but you will be spending money in game currencies and all that stuff. So we will have the chance and opportunity to get Great Balls, Ultra Balls, and Master Balls, and of course, luxury, uh, Luxurious Balls as well. Um, there's also super potions, so those are going to be items for, of course, your Pokemon, heal them up, but there's not so much information on the gameplay or the battles themselves yet, so it's pretty much a, what we've noticed so far is more of a safari game, where in the safari zone of the Pokemon versions, you go out there, you either throw bait, you attract them, whack them with a stick, or you throw a Pokeball, so it's simple trainer and wild Pokemon, correlations with the fact that you do have the opportunity to, to battle for example gym leaders um, other other trainers you're allowed to trade but the gym leaders are going to be of course us but that's at a later date not much information has been announced on that yet so these guys that actually caught their Pokemon and when you catch a Pokemon um, you're gonna get experience as a trainer and you're gonna level up as a trainer so your Pokemon will level up as well but you're, you as a trainer, you're going to level up through just adventuring out in the wild, catching Pokemon, seeing new and different Pokemon, updating your Pokedex, and all that stuff. So you'll be getting uh, experience points as a trainer yourself. So here's a, uh, an example of trading. As you can see, there is a Charizard, Bulbasaur, Magikarp on the left, Eevee, Vulpix, and Caterpie on the right. These are the trainers that just adventured, that we just saw. One caught the Caterpie, and the other one caught the Charizard, that were adventuring into the wild. Now these two trainers have come together. Again, you're going to be able to trade your Pokemon, which is great, because you're not going to be able to find every Pokemon in your area. So this is the true story behind Pokemon, where you got to catch them all, you got to work together, you got to get out there, you got to adventure, and you're going to have fun. Now, let's keep it going. So there will be actual Pokemon battles where you'll be able to fight other trainers in the wild. As you can see, there's a Snorlax and a Gyarados. The Snorlax was a guy that was crossing the bridge, and the Gyarados is coming from the female trainer that is on the mini boat. So you're going to be able to fight against other challengers as well, so that's very cool.
So as you guys can see, I'm pausing the video in a random area right now because I already know what's coming up next. This is the very interesting and very descriptive part of the video when it comes to the actual catching of legendary Pokemon. For those of you that are tuning in right now, post down below where you think this exact location is in the world. It is a very key market in the uh, United States and the East Coast. It is within New York. It is within Times Square. This is a key point to catching legendary Pokemons, and the reason being is legendary Pokemons are going to be, from what I've noticed, are going to be event specific. You're going to work together as groups, say probably Nintendo, Pokemon, or Niantic is going to uh, announce when these events will occur. You'll be able to go to a specific location. For example, let's go ahead and say Paris, France at the Eiffel Tower, or Las Vegas, Nevada, or something in downtown Los Angeles, New York, um, something in Tokyo, anything. They're going to announce where that location is. Now, you might live in California in the United States, but there's something going on in Paris, France. Well, you're kind of out of luck, unless you can afford the money to go there and go catch a Pokemon. But, you're kind of out of luck. But if it's somewhere near you, and if it's an event that's kind of close by, and you want to go and adventure out, you're going to witness in the re rest of this video where a lot of Pokemon trainers gather together in one location, and your goal is to use all of your Pokemon so if there's like 100,000 people in one area collided together and there's one legendary Pokemon, it is your job as a trainer to defeat that legendary Pokemon. So it's basically 100,000 against one. And once you've defeated that Pokemon, guess what? You've actually caught the Pokemon. You don't have to catch them uh, necessarily with Pokeballs or anything. You will have the opportunity to get these legendary Pokemons just by defeating them. So let's continue watching. Very cool part of this video. Defeat Mewtwo. Time, you have a time limit, so an event. You have 10 minutes, everybody to get there, defeat you two. Oh my god, this is really cool. All of this gameplay is going to be on the ground, though. It's very, still very cool. We got 58 seconds left to get that Mewtwo down! 13 seconds left to get that Mewtwo down! And then they have no clue whether they defeated him or not. They're like, what happened? And they got Mewtwo! They got Mewtwo in the clutch and they didn't go back to the event and actually caught him too. So again, you gotta catch them all. Thank you very much for tuning in everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed this little quick replay of the uh, cinematic for Pokemon Go coming in 2016 and hopefully you enjoyed my discussion about the Pokemon Go uh, cinematic as well. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, don't forget to check out the description box down below. Stay tuned for some more Pokemon Go videos and Fuego Minatachi is...